Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I think one of the most requested recipe videos I get is ones that are using the air fryer. So I thought I would just come up with a few different kind of unusual type of things you can do with the air fryer. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is an air fryer pita pizza. This turned out so good, you guys. So the ingredients you're going to need is some sort of pita bread. I use the Joseph's pita. You're going to need some pizza sauce. This is my own sauce, so I will post the recipe in the description box. And then some turkey pepperoni and then some reduced fat mozzarella cheese. So you just simply take your pita, brush on the sauce on top, add your turkey pepperoni and your cheese. Now I did the cheese first, then the pepperoni, and the pepperoni kind of flew around a little bit in the air fryer, so you might want to put the cheese on top of the pepperoni and put the pepperoni on the sauce. It came out so good as you can see here, and it was so tasty, so highly recommend trying this in the air fryer. And yes, I am using a different air fryer. This is the Magic Chef air fryer. This one is bigger than my other one, which I really, really like. So let me show you a couple things on this air fryer that I like. One thing is this really large round basket. Now it's not super deep. Actually, it's not too bad though. I would say it's about four inches deep. And then, but it is so big around, it's a 5.8 quart and it has some presets on it. So the different modes are there's french fries, there's roast, there's shrimp, cake, chicken, steak, and fish. And then of course you can adjust the time here, adjust the temperature over here. It goes up to 400 degrees and goes down all the way down to looks like 270 and you can go all the way up to an hour I believe as far as max time goes so I'm real excited to try this new one out it does come with a really nice cookbook so healthy cooking oilless air fryer um, and it has, so it has some snacks, appetizers, main dishes, desserts. So I have already picked out a couple recipes I'm gonna make out of here, so I'm really excited about that. Of course, comes with an instruction manual, which I am going to read, because my last one I did not, and I did make a couple mistakes with it. So I'm excited to go through and really give a good read to this. This is really nice too. The other air fryer has this too, but it has, um, you know, the type of thing that you're cooking how much you should put in there, your time, your temperature, if you shake it, any extra information. Okay. So there you go, a little overview of the Magic Chef air fryer. As usual, there'll be um, information in the description box, as well as a link to this and a code where you can get a discount. The next thing I am going to do is going to be doing a dessert. This is so good, you guys. These are like apple crescent turnovers. So first you want to take an apple. I used two apples, but I really only needed one and just chop it up really finely. To that you're going to add in one tablespoon of some kind of sweetener. I used stevia. And then I also used about one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, which was way too much, you guys. I always thought there was, you can never have too much pumpkin pie spice. It was a little bit too much. So maybe only do about a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice on this. And then you're going to need some kind of crescent rolls. I used the reduced fat crescent rolls from Walmart. And then I just put a little bit of the mixture at the kind of the bigger end of the crescent roll and just rolled it up. And then I'm going to use these little, um, they're like parchment paper that I got on Amazon. These are not necessarily needed, but I have had things stick to the bottom of air fryers before when I've been trying to bake anything in them. So I picked these up on Amazon and these were turned out so good. Um, so I just put that in there, put the crescent rolls on there. I decided I was only going to do four. I was going to do all of them. All of them would have fit in here, but I just decided to do four because I didn't know how much they would rise. And so I went ahead and put those in there, brushed them with some egg white on top to make them all nice and shiny. And then I just put them in the air fryer at 360 degrees and I set it for eight minutes, but honestly, you guys, it only took like five minutes and they were done. So just kind of check how long it is, just depending on the air fryer that you're using. And here they are all done. They are so golden brown and crispy and so, so good. So highly recommend trying this recipe. Now this next recipe would go really, really well 
with the pickled chicken that I made the other night in the air fryer. So I will have that video um, and up here in the corner here in a card and I also have it linked in the description box. So it was one of my dinner recipes and I used this air fryer for the pickled chicken. It was so good. So check that out because this recipe would go perfect for it. So what we're going to make is going to be some air fryer jicama fries. Now I find my jicama at my grocery store in the produce section already cut up into these matchsticks. I just cut them down just a little bit smaller. So to your jicama, you want to add in some garlic powder and some smoked paprika. I don't ever like measure this type of thing, but um, you know, so just kind of sprinkle it in there. And if you want some heat like I did, add in some red pepper flakes. So you're just going to mix that up a little bit. Then you're going to want to spray them with a little bit of cooking spray. I'm using this avocado cooking spray. So just spray that on there and then toss it to combine really well. And then you want to put it in your air fryer at 400 degrees. And again, it's this, the original recipe I said for 15 minutes, but it only took about 10 for these to get done. And I did shake the basket a few times just to make sure that the frying was really even. But these guys, these turned out so well. So now I know I'm going to get questions about how did they taste. They don't taste like potatoes, but they do they do kind of, it's really interesting. They kind of have a different texture than a potato, but they're nice and crispy and they definitely were really good. I had them with some um, reduced sugar ketchup and they were just so good. Again, this would have been perfect with that pickled chicken. So try those two recipes together. So there you go, guys. There are three different air fryer recipes for you. I hope you guys try them out and I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you are interested in purchasing the same air fryer that I am using here in this video, the Magic Chef Digital Air Fryer XL, then you can use my code that I'll put here on the screen. The code is Journey. It will save you 20% off. There will be a link to their Amazon page in the description box as well as all the links to these um, recipe videos and just any descriptions for you at all. So just check out that box because there will be lots of information down there. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys! I see the light inside your eyes, you make me feel like I'm awake.